In this video, we are going to patch games or ROMs with the XDATA file format. And we have here a website and an application or program made by Marco Calauti. You just need to use one of them. I'm just giving you more than one alternative. And here I have downloaded a patch for Street Fighter Third Strike for the PS2 that translates the game from Japanese to English. And when you download any kind of patch, make sure that the patch file is for the same region of the game or things won't work correctly. And here I have a patch for Resident Evil 2 for the PS1. And we are going to start with the websites. And here at the bottom, you can read that this app runs client sites. No files are actually uploaded or downloaded. Then in the source file, choose your game or ROM. And in the patch file, choose the x.patch file. Then apply patch. And this will ask you to save a copy of your game with the patch applied. And this is so you don't overwrite your original game. And then you can test the game in any PS2 emulator. Go to where you have saved the game with the patch applied and then run in a PS2 emulator or PCSX2, which is probably the only one or the only good one. And as you can see, the game was translated from Japanese to English. And this means that the patch is working correctly. Now for the Delta Patcher program or application from the Marco Calauti GitHub, you have to go to the latest release and then download the Linux GTK3 bin 8664.zip. Or you can go to the Linux Mint Software Manager, search for Delta Patcher and install the Flatpak version. But I'm going to use the, the version from the GitHub. And then after downloading, you can extract to here or to whatever place you have downloaded. Go inside of this folder and run Delta Patcher. And now I recommend going to the settings and turn on backup original file. So you don't overwrite your original file. Then here, choose your game or ROM. And if you're dealing with games that have more than one track, it's usually the track one or the track with the bigger size or the larger size, larger size. And then choose your X Delta patch. Apply the patch. Now run the game in any PS1 emulator to test it. And as you can see, it's working correctly. That's it for this video and thank you for watching.